This variety is called Brown Barhi. It's got like oh, caramel. Oh wow! Right? That does taste like caramel. A little bit of brown butter. Yeah. Even. They're great right off the tree. Yeah. Just like this. Oh. There it is. There we go. The packing process is done also by hand. When you hear the Coachella Valley, what comes to mind is, you know, the music festival, Joshua Tree National Park, Palm Springs. But there is a thriving farming and agriculture community here, is there not? Absolutely. I mean, 95% of the dates grown in the United States are grown right here in the Coachella Valley. We're sunshine, movie stars, mm -hmm. palm trees. Grab it towards the top and give it a really, really hard shake. There it is. The money producing palm trees. Yeah, the <laughs> money does grow on trees. <laughs> you know, our cows know when we have newbies up in the tree, and they, they know that a lot of the fruit ends up on the ground. Did I drop a few? <laughs> you dropped it. Oh, <laughs> man. For over 30 years, the Aziz family has been harvesting the Coachella Valley's finest dates. Woo! Fertilized, picked, and sorted by hand, it's a labor of love Mark inherited from his father. This variety is called Brown Barhi. It's got like oh, caramel, wow. right? That does taste like caramel. A little bit of brown butter yeah. even. They're great right off the tree. Yeah. Just like this. Just, oh! There it is. There we go. The packing process is done also by hand. Spray a little bit of water on them. Okay. And then they end up on our shaker. They go through some towels just to get polished before we end up on the hard part, which is the sorting line. Fancy? Fancy? That's the muy, muy guapo? Muy guapo. There's not a big process going from picking to packing. Just a quick polish. Got it. Straight into the box, straight to the customer. All right. Mira, mira. Mucho delicioso. The Aziz family dates are so delicious that Mark decided to think outside the box and combine his produce with the bounty of the area to create the Coachella Valley Harvest Box. A blend of whatever we get every week from all different farmers in the Coachella Valley. So this box right here in front of me is exactly what my shopping cart at the grocery store would look like. I mean, look at this, man. Wow. Next to pulling it out of your own backyard. I mean, that's as close so, as you can get. That's really part of the success of CB Harvest Box is that you're literally getting it on your countertops within 24 hours out of the dirt. And the cool thing is, is even though I just grow dates, mm -hmm. I grow some really neat varieties. And we can put that in that CV harvest box, get it directly to consumers, and then they'll start to talk about it because you can't find this in a grocery no. store. Yeah. Where did the idea for the CV harvest box come from and why? Well, during COVID, people couldn't leave their homes. Mm -hmm. We knew these farmers had all kinds of produce that they didn't want to go bad and get wasted. Mm -hmm. CV harvest was born three weeks after we started talking about it, and hundreds of boxes were going out every week. One of the things that bummed me out the most uh, during the shutdown was when I'd go into the grocery store, couldn't find a roll of toilet paper or frozen <laughs> yeah, peas right. to save your life, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But the fresh produce was just piled up there, and Tony had a great idea, and uh, we hit the ground running. Mark and Tony would eventually build a family of over 100 contributors to CV Harvest Box. And fortunately, I've got some great relationships with some local farmers. Max from our Menta Farms. Wow, man. Where goes your hat? Brian and I have known each other for a really long time. He's one of the best date farmers I know, too. But you don't only produce dates here. You do citrus as well. Well, basically, uh, we produce citrus trees that are going to go to commercial growers. And then we've had citrus in the box that started there and then went to a farmer and then went to us. It is very symbiotic. It is something where everybody comes together and we put our best foot forward and we conquer our own turf. Wow, would you look at that. The Aziz dates okay. stuffed with blue cheese and wrapped in bacon. Yum. What do you like more, dates or do you like Halloween candy? Oh, oh, Kennedy, <laughs> breaking my heart. <laughs> this is essentially the bounty of Coachella Valley laid out here in front of us. I mean, we're basically looking at CV Harvest Box in all of its glory, and this is what it all comes out to here. 
cheers to everybody here. Without all of you, none of this is possible. Uh, Max and his wife, Susanna, gave us our very first vegetables for CV Harvest Box. Tony, my wife, my kids, and Pops, uh, the, the founder of Aziz Farms. Cheers. 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 Would you say that all the contributors to CV Harvest Box are an extension of your close family? No doubt about it. You adopt them, they adopt you. You treat them as a family, they will take you in. The greatest date I've ever had, right here. Right here. Wow.